Hi, so this is an interview with Gloria Olorsi from the Nunavut Teacher Education Program. Our first question is, please describe your program. Um, what is it called and what would you cover? I will talk about the Education Programs Division at Nunavut Arctic College, which offers a four-year degree program called the Nunavut Teacher Education Program and a two-year after-degree program called the Bachelor of Education Degree um, Program, known as the BEAD Program, uh, which is in partnership with the University of Regina. The NTEP program began in 1979 as the Eastern Arctic Teacher Education Program, known as ETEP. Um, it is in partnership, uh, it was um, in a partnership with McGill University at the time it was established in 1981. The program was a two-year education program. The graduates received a certificate of Native and Northern Education from McGill University and a certification to teach in the Northwest Territories. In 2007, ANTEP established an affiliation with the Faculty of Education at the University of Regina. The focus of the ANTEP program is on the practice of teaching. The design of the ANTEP emphasizes the application of content and theoretical knowledge to the classroom through various field experiences and educational professional studies courses in Nunavut schools. In the fourth year of the ENTEP program, there is a 14-week field internship placement experience in a chosen school. Students at ENTEP are required to complete 120 credits to earn the Bachelor of Education degree. The program curriculum is informed by Inuit worldview, Inuit societal and cultural values and principles. The courses are delivered in Inuktitut when possible but majority of the time the instruction is in English. The BEAD program allows for students who have previously earned an undergraduate degree to earn a Bachelor of Education degree in two years. Students are required to complete 60 credits consisting of content and theoretical knowledge courses, educational professional studies courses, and a field internship placement. BEAD students complete the requirements of the program by joining the third and fourth year course offerings of the Nunavut Teacher Education Program. Wow. So the BEAD program is going to be offered um, um, in the coming years? It's always been offered, but um, this past year we did not offer the BEAD program. Oh, okay. Um, the second question, what are age groups or target audiences? Okay, we accept applications from individuals who are interested in becoming classroom teachers in Nunavut. In saying that, applicants must meet the University of Regina academic requirements. Applicants applying directly from high school must at minimum have a grade 12 high school diploma with an overall average of 65 with courses such as English, math, or science, and or uh, language in social science or fine performing arts courses. Applicants who have completed 24 or more university, university level credits and have overall a cumulative average of 65 or more are eligible for admission on the basis of their university level courses. So it depends, it all depends on um, how much, how many, how many courses they've acquired from other universities. Mm -hmm. Mature status applicants, meaning 21 years or over, are eligible for admission on the basis that a 130 level um, Inuktitut English and Math score is attained or obtained on NAC, Nunavut Arctic College, assessment test. Okay. Uh, what is the aim of the program? The Nunavut Teacher Education Program prepares graduates to become qualified classroom teachers in Nunavut schools. Based on a strong foundation of Inuit culture and language, the ENTA program is committed to developing critical, confident, thoughtful Inuit teachers with the personal, academic, and professional skills to provide the children of Nunavut with the knowledge, skills, and attitudes needed to equip them for life in the classroom. Mm -hmm. 
So tell me a little more about what happens in the NTEP program. The program is delivered primarily using a face-to-face -face delivery format. Uh, the Education Programs Division is exploring other program delivery models such as blended hybrid online distance, dis online distance education models. The program courses are delivered in a variety of formats, um, <clears throat> which is through module or block courses, deliveries, and semester format courses, deliveries. Uh, so how do you measure the success of your program? Most of the graduates of the program end up finding employment in the teaching profession um, or even in the education sector as well as the public and private service sectors. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> in terms of Inuit education, I guess in general, um, indigenous education is a concept of how the different indigenous groups such as Inuit, First Nations, and Métis learn knowledge from their elders, parents, uh, family members. Um, it could be learning from the land and animals. Indigenous knowledge content is passed down through various ways, so different ways and methods through formal and informal educational settings. Um, indigenous education is holistic. Um, Inuit education, I say this because, for example, in Inuit society, family as well as extended family members help in some way to take care and teach children when it comes to raising a child. Um, indigenous education is beautiful because it allows individuals to feel welcome, safe, and wanted in a learning space environment. Over the last, I would say, three years, we haven't really had any bead uh, students because the bead program is geared towards um, <clears throat> any individuals who are interested in uh, taking, in becoming a teacher. Um, say, for example, if you were uh, going to school in Winnipeg and you were taking other university level courses and um, you say you wanted to become a teacher you could apply to our program and we have this program where it allows you to um, specifically um, take courses so that you can it can prepare you to become a teacher. So I think because I'm relatively new to the college having just started this year I think it's a great opportunity to work with, um, with our staff and our faculty to look at what our vision is for education and to work with our partners within the territory um, who also have our stakeholders in, um, in education. And I think for me um, personally, I, my vision is to have Inuit teaching in Inukitut with that being our language of instruction and teaching um, from an Inuit way of knowing and understanding our world and being able to pass on our culture and our language, but also to ensure that we have students that are graduating that are, um, are competent, are confident in who they are and have the academic skills necessary to continue on to whatever it is that might interest them, whether that's attending Nunavut Arctic College, coming to the NTEP program, um, or going into other fields of study in post-secondary education, or to pursue a lifestyle that is, um, is I guess, based in Inuit culture, whether that's hunting or sewing or um, teaching others about Inuit history and culture through other mediums other than just through our schools. And I think there's a great opportunity here at NTEP to be part of that and yeah. to encourage our instructors and our learners to be part of that as well. One thing we forgot to mention is um, the introduction. <laughs> Tell me who you are and what you oversee oh, okay. and, and your focus on Nunavut teaching or education, I guess. Okay, my name is Becky Mearns. I'm Dean of um, Education, Inuit and University Studies at Nunavut Arctic College. 
Um, I started just back in August of 2018, and so I oversee our education programs, so NTEP and early childhood education, um, as well as our cultural and language programs, and also looking at um, university programs such as the law program and how, um, how those fit within the college as well. And so my background, I did my master's in geography at Carleton University and I finished that just over a year ago now. And then I taught at Nunavut Sunik Savut for three years in Ottawa um, and taught the Inuit history courses and some Inuit pieces as well. Um, so any more comments? Could we tie in a, a little bit more? To I think this is a broad question. Yeah. So I'm just thinking of ways to mm -hmm. incorporate um, our area. Mm -hmm. So over the next 10 years, I hope that we can, and I think we're at the, at a stage where we're looking to work more between the different stakeholders. And I think within Nunavut, we're in, um, I guess we're in this position that there's many stakeholders that are focused on whether it's Inuit employment or Inuit training and Inuit skills development. Um, and I think the college is very much tied into what everybody's doing and we're trying to um, be that center for mm -hmm. excellence in Inuit language and culture and to be able to provide that support to whether it's other government departments, um, our schools, the Department of Education, uh, um, and our, our, our regional Inuit organizations. I think at many different the different levels of government and our Inuit organizations, we have the shared vision of what we want to see happen. And I think that vision's been there for a very long time with Nunuwa being created in 1999. Um, and I think we're sort of at this point now where I feel being sort of part of all of this and um, creating that next step of our vision. So. Uh, there was the vision of Nunavut, and that came to be. We have our territory. There's, I mean, um, we're still looking at issues of low Inuit employment and um, attainment at school and post-secondary education. But what can we do as the college to help support uh, not only our learners that are here at the college, but those that are interested in coming to the college? Mm -hmm. And I think... For that to be achieved, we do need to work together with um, with everyone else who is looking at training opportunities and um, education opportunities in Nunavut um, and to work together to identify pathways for learners to come through, whether um, there's pre-employment training or pre college training that needs to take place uh, for skills development or um, even diversifying the programs that we have available to us. And I think within the education programs, looking at how we can address um, address the needs within our schools for different supports that are available at the schools. How can we, what role does the Arctic College play in um, addressing the needs for say student support assistance yeah. or how can we better train our student support assistants to um, to be able to address the needs of our students in our schools that often um, is discussed at different levels. And so I think really it's about um, kind of like keeping, keeping up with everything that's going on and being able to identify those needs and working to address those needs. And um, Obviously, the NTEP programs at a time of change as well. We have a new university partnership that we're starting up. Um, but I think that opens up opportunities for um, sort of revisioning what the program is and allowing our faculty and our staff to be involved in that change. And um, I think also the college is at that point too where um, there is, they are currently working to develop a 10-year strategic plan. What do they envision for the college over the next 10 years as a whole? And then what part do all of our other programs play in that? Um, so I think we're, um, we're at this point where um, we're looking to 
sort of set that new 10 year, 10 year vision. Mm -hmm. I think we have, um, a really great group of, um, I mean, our leadership and then also our, um, the staff, our faculty, like everyone's so engaged in what's going on. And I think, um, that we'll be able to bring all of those ideas together to really come up with the vision for, for education in the next 10 years. And I think we play one piece in that. And I think for myself, um, like that's my overall wanting to achieve is that we are like, we have more Inuktitut speaking teachers who are taught to teach mm -hmm. in Inuktitut. Um, and but what does it what does a program look like that actually allows for um, for our learners to have access to that right? Um, and I haven't been through the NTEP program, <laughs> so I don't know like what it's been like over the past yeah. um, past number of years. I've heard stories from others, like I have many friends that have been through NTEP. Um, but I think there's always room to to improve programs and to progress and to. Um, be innovative with, with what it is that we're doing and how we're teaching. And um, the one other hope for me is to see more, I guess, land-based <laughs> education mm -hmm. and having that opportunity, but really making links between um, the teachings on the land and um, what's underlying all of those lessons when people are out on the land, because you're learning not just to be on the land, but you're learning about being prepared, you're learning about uh, being observant, you're learning about the environment. There's so much that you can bring in and you can tie in the different ways of knowing. And I think um, figuring out how we do that and how we prepare people to think that way as they're teaching as well is a really big piece of what I see for the coming years.